So, Oscar Valdez destroys Miguel Burchell in the 10th round. As I predicted, if you go back and watch my prediction video, I said Oscar Valdez, much sharper, better footwork, better head movement than Miguel Burchell. I said he would stop him in the 10th round. Early on in the fight, it looked like he was going to stop him earlier than that. It looked like he was going to stop him in like the third or the fourth round. And I was like, damn. And I bet on this fight too. So I was like, damn it, man. Now, let me just say this before I can keep going. I predicted four fights, four major fights that were taking place last night. All four fights, I got them all right to the T. And this, this fight, the Burchell Valdez fight, I almost got wrong, which I find very odd. It was very strange because he he hurt him again in the ninth round. And then it looked like he was going to get him out of in the ninth. And I was like, well, I was wrong with this fight. Then, when the tenth was about to end, going into the um, 11th round, a few seconds left in the round, he knocks Burchett out cold. Very nail biting. It was very strange. Just like that. It was almost like I forced that win to be in the 10th round. It was very strange. Much respect to Miguel Burchett, a warrior, man. But he was buzzed. He was he was pretty much out of it. It looked like he was trying to rally back in like the fifth, sixth round. I think he was trying to look like he had he was showing some kind of promise but that's how he is he's a warrior you gotta give warriors their respect no matter if they win or lose oscar valdez this was the better man those left hooks was crazy strong powerful and a lot of people say he he was ducking shakira stevenson and now he's saying he want to fight stevenson so we'll see how that goes but Burchelt had nothing for him that entire fight, man. He, he just was off his feet. He was getting hit with all types of counters and, and left hooks, flush straight, hits to the face, wobbled him many times, dropped him a couple of times until the ultimate knockout. I got a little nervous because I thought he, he was really hurt because he wasn't responding. And I was like, come on, Warrior, get up. I kept saying, Warrior, get up, Warrior. Get up, Warrior. You good, Warrior. Get up, brother. Get up. And he got up, man. Like the warrior in him. And much respect to Miguel Burchett. Much respect to Oscar Valdez for taking the WBC title. Very interesting fight, man. And I knew it was going to be some kind of a war, but it was more likely like a one-sided war, man. I, I did think uh, Burchett was going to like give him a run for his money, but I did. But I also said he was going to lose that fight. I said he was going to get knocked out. I said Oscar Valdez is too sharp for him. A lot of people said, no, man, Burchette going to wipe the floor with him. I was like, I listen, man, I watch these fights. I watch these I watch all these fighters. I watch these boxers, man. And I watch their previous fights, and then I compare them. That's how I get my predictions right most of the time. I predict, I see how they their styles are, and then I, I can vision the fight in my head. And I said that the 10th round, I saw a 10th round knockout, and that's what, he, that's what happened. Much respect. We'll see what's next for Oscar Valdez, man. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.